All right, welcome back. Oh! So, uh, when when you use a tent on the save point, depending on who you have as your lead character, um, the the tent graphic will change. So, like, uh, for Saban and uh, Edgar, there'll be like a little crown at the top, because they're both, you know, royalty. Damn. Fucking lightning! Vendara at that. I think, uh, I think originally it was still, like, uh, Thunder 1, Thunder 2, Thunder 3 in the original game. Like Shock or something? Something like that. Um, but uh, for the, obviously for the updated version, they have, uh, like, the Thundara. Uh, Thunder, Thundara, Thundaga. That's how it goes, right? Thanks. Oof. Okay, thanks. So that was level 5 death. Um, you probably yeah. know what that is, right? Death. Well, any any um, character who is at like 5, 15, 25, 35, that um, instant it's a instant kill. Love that. What? Love that. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Get out of my way. Okay, um, I forget what this guy's name is, but he's like experiment something. Kind of reminds me of like uh, number 024. Kind of reminds me of like a uh, uh, experiment, whatever, from a uh, like a uh, Resident Evil game. <laughs> I. I have never played a Resident Evil. I, the, I, I played a little bit of Seven. I I technically own the first two games for PS One. Yeah. Um, and I, I like... my stepdad had Zero for the GameCube. He had like two versions of Zero. Mm -hmm. I think they split it up into two discs. I can't remember. Uh, I didn't think they would. No, I didn't think they did that for GameCube games. I don't think they did either. I just remember him having two different versions with two different titles. Mm -hmm. Well, well I, sure I own like it was with that. I own like all the Resident Evil games on Steam. Mm -hmm. Um, and I played. I think I'd play them if like like once they're all finished being remastered and stuff. Like eight looked like a lot of fun. Everybody had fun with that. Uh, two is really good. Um, two and like Resident Evil Two remake is really yeah. good. And I saw people mod Shaggy in that. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, Sid. You're like, like, so, like, so I'm here. <laughs> Banana Man, Sid. That's what Sid looks like. Yep, this is Final Fantasy VI's Sid. Disappointing. <laughs> Why'd they have to do him like that? Why does he look like, like a, banana. a banana? Um, I also found out that Final Fantasy X is a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. Is that like a game theory, or...? No! Well, it, like, it, it's acknowledged... I don't it, like Square Enix acknowledges it. What? I thought all the games were supposed to be like their own separate universes. Yeah, but okay. So like, if you play ten, or it's ten two, uh, there is a kid, and he's just like, "Hey, uh, I'm discover I'm I'm researching this one thing, and the kid's name is Shinra." And they're like, well, what are you talking about? And it's like, I'm researching this thing that could probably potentially just be, like, endless, unlimited clean energy. 
And they're like, oh, that's cool. And he was like, yeah, but it would take generations to build. <laughs> and so they were like, oh, well, alright, good for you, kid. And then if you play the new Final Fantasy game, it shows the kid in the Shinra founding, like, he wears this, like, the kid wears a mask. Hmm. And if you play... Okay, so, uh, if you play be Remake... Before we, uh, like, get into that discussion, so, uh... Okay. Kefka is saying that Celeste um, betrayed us. Um, Celeste is saying, obviously, that she didn't, and asking Locke to believe her. Locke's just like, I don't know, man. Yeah. I got he, he, he's not sure. Like, and that honestly made uh, Celeste pretty upset. But Celeste is. I think she used teleport to get them all out of there or get. Well, that would have been useful a while ago. <laughs> what like... the fuck? <laughs> That's bad writing. That's know bad if writing. Have teleport yet? That's Heck. no. You tell me that that bitch could teleport when I shut the fuck up, banana man. Go to no. space. <laughs> Oh no, this is bad. Blast it. Yeah, Banana Man from uh, Adventure Time. That yeah, go to space. Just... Alright, but no, Sid is actually going to help us escape. Nah, Sid's pretty cool in this game. Like, all he pretty much cares about is science. And obviously, Celeste. Uh,. Celeste is like a granddaughter to him. Or a daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear Banana Man. Alright. Um, so, apparently we're going to uh, get into this minecart and um, escape. Yeah, it would have been cool if we got it teleported! Yeah, I don't know why she didn't just teleport us all. So, like, is Sid a part of the party now? What's his deal? No. Sid is not part of the party. Um, he just, Boo! He's just helping us escape. That's all. But, oh no, it's Kafka. He, he doesn't, you know, go with us. He still stays behind with the Empire. Alright, um... Hit him so with the chainsaw! We just have those here. <laughs> yeah. I love when he puts on the, uh... The hockey mask. With it. Oh my... Wait, does he actually? Yeah. <laughs> In some of them. Not all oh of them. Oh my god. Um, so this is a scripted sequence, so we'll be seeing pretty much the same type of enemies. All right. So, uh, what were you saying, um, in your, uh, uh, you were talking about with the how apparently Final Fantasy X, two and seven are like connected? Oh yeah. So, fucking. So there's a kid, and his name's Shinra. Mm-hmm. And his whole deal is like, hey. I found out that, you know, there's, like, this other energy source that's, like, clean and might be unlimited. Mm -hmm. And he wears a mask and shit, and he, he wears the, like, he looks like he's wearing, the, like, the hazmat banana suit. <laughs> and they, like, everybody was like, huh, is this a reference, or does that mean that... Final Fantasy X is a prequel to Final Fantasy VII. Because Nomura worked on both. Mm -hmm. Um, And then Square Enix just kind of like nodded at it and acknowledged it. It didn't really like put on a full on statement, but like pretty much was like, yeah, pretty much. Um, I want the, uh, the, the Final Fantasy um, timeline, sort of like Zelda. I, I think that's, like, the only two Final Fantasy games that are connected. I don't know if any of the other ones are. Hmm. 
trying to think of like how you would even connect any of the others. Like I don't think that none could. of them have referenced each other like that. So everybody was like, "Well, that's weird." And then the Final Fantasy VII remake just came out, mm -hmm. and um, there is a picture in the Shinra building. Yeah, that shows all the founding members of Shinra, and you can see a dude sitting dead ass in the middle with the same mask on as the kid. So everybody's just like, oh? Interesting. Yeah. Alright, so, right, so this thing has multiple arms. I don't think you need to bother killing the arms. Just go after the actual thing. Um, so that was one of the uh, summons that we had. And you can only use the summon once for battle. So we can't use Ifrit again this battle I'm I'm actually curious as to what this kid looked like cuz I've never played 10 too I do I think I have it on Steam now I've Well yeah if you have 10 then you have 10 too on Steam cuz they bundled them with the mm -hmm. HD remaster Um uh, I have never fully beaten 10 I've always gotten stuck in the final boss um oof well i just i, I have a bad problem of under play the rest of seven do you have the remaster no i have I have like the steam version of the original game ah okay uh i have that and then i have that same version on the ps4 and then i bought the the remake on my ps4 and then they put out integrate on the epic game store yeah. So, and I was like, either I'm going to buy a PS5 and buy this game, or I'll just buy it on my Epic Game Store with my way more powerful computer. Yeah. So, and <laughs> something that you already have versus buying a PS5, yeah. which... And then trying to get your fucking hands on one. Yeah. <laughs> um, Shimura Kid... Uh... Okay. I see. Kind of weird that he's wearing a mask. <laughs> but oh, while well, literally no one else is. Interesting. Alright, so now we need to escape Vector. But now we don't have any magic users, which sucks. Eight. <laughs> not having any like dedicated magic users it's uh this game is very much it very much pushes you towards um, magic you can do you know no magic runs but that's not fun So who's texting you now? Uh, your mom. Hmm, pretty sure my mom doesn't have your number. Facebook Messenger. Mary. Pretty sure my mom doesn't go on Facebook. Shut up. My dad. Uh, nobody. I was phone. looking something up. <laughs> Ben, were you looking up clown porn again? Ew. <laughs> That's where you went with that? That's where you went with that. I needed it in some type of joke. Well, what type of porn did you want? <laughs> Midget, obviously. <laughs> Austrian clown porn, duh. <laughs> now you're just curious about Austrian clown porn. No. <laughs> the real question is, why do you know that? So, I'm pretty sure it was... Um, 
Super Gaming Brothers. I don't know if you've ever... You probably I haven't. I'm, I know who the Super Gaming Brothers are. Um, so you know Matt from the Super, the Super Gaming Brothers. I don't know if you've... Am I thinking of Super Game... Or I might be thinking of Super Mega. Okay. Um, so one of the guys in Super Gaming Brothers um, referenced... Uh, Austrian clown porn. <laughs> so, I can't remember if it was in uh, while they were doing this Let's Play or not. <laughs> this uh, Final Fantasy VI or not. Or if it was something else. But, this, uh, it just reminded me of that. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. So, uh, we have, uh, Setzer in our party to replace Celeste. It was a major down downgrade. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Setzer's main thing is he can play slots. It's... Eh. It's not horrible. But it's not great, you know? Uh, what claws does Saban have? Because it's not ideal that it gave that thing health. Can't remember offhand, because I know he has, like, poison claws. Maybe it's... Is it fire? It looked like fire. Obviously, you don't... <laughs> okay. One of them is dead. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, fire fire uh helps that one. I don't really understand the correlation, but you know. Sorry, I'm reading something right now. You're fine. Getting an article. You're fine. Alright. I have no control over the ship right now, so I'm not quite sure where we're going. Uh, that's right. We're going back to Zozo so we can get Terra, so we actually have a um, magic user again. <laughs> Yeah. Hopefully she'll be awake this time. Okay, not gonna lie, I, I thought they were going to park us, like, right. In the mountains? Yeah. <laughs> or on the other side of the mountains. Like, so Alright, man, I'm gonna leave you on air for step fun! <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't have to, like, walk all the way back up to her room. So apparently that, uh, that particular, um, magicite was her father's. <laughs> so, this is the Esper world. why the camera's really shaky for some reason. Um, oh, you know what? It's probably uh, something going on outside. Um, so we have control over um, Madwin. Uh, this is Tara's father. Dad? Oh, this woman. Leave her. Mm, if Sam. we leave, if we leave her, the the events of the game don't happen. Good. Maybe you don't take advantage of collapsed women, huh? He took her to a bed so she could rest. Ben. Right, 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 right. He's a human. He must have wandered. Oh, is he like an elf? 
He's Esper's he? Okay. <laughs> he, he looks elfy. I mean, I don't know exactly. Like, I mean, Is some of them Robert? look like fairies. Some of them look like uh, wolfmen. It just kind of, you know. Whatever the artist felt like making. <laughs> I want to know how the heck she got in here. <laughs> it's like the the door to the Esper world is like way out of the way. <laughs> so apparently, uh, humans and Esper's can't coexist. I mean, just based off of what we've seen in the Empire, that makes sense. <laughs> Any, you know, one of the Final Fantasies that I need to play is eight. I've did heard I, that. Did I ever eight talk about is, eight? I feel like we have talked about eight a little. From what I've gathered, eight is a love it or hate it type of game. My mom, it was my mom's favorite one. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to try it. Yeah. So I was just like, mm. oh yeah, and some of these look like dragons as well. <laughs> um, yeah, I've. I've never played it. Um, I think from what I heard, the magic system is weird. Um, I think you have to like draw magic from the monsters and then you use, depending on what monsters you have like taken magic from recently or the spells that you use. It's all, I don't know. It, that, that's just based off of what I can remember hearing. I'm not sure if that's correct. That just kind of sounds like beast memory or like enemy skills. Hmm. It's yeah, like I Kamar don't... Kamari in uh, Final Fantasy X can do that. Yeah, I don't know. Um... His I... whole thing is that he absorbs. Mm -hmm. their ability and then he learns it permanently yeah yeah i don't know i've again i've never played eight at all um i think a lot of people didn't like eight uh like especially like initially because a lot of people were new to the franchise because of seven and they didn't realize that final fantasy games aren't you know continuation of the previous game yeah a lot of uh, people like nine though yeah like i've heard nine is one of the best yeah, and then everybody like once like everybody shat on 10 but 10 was really good i love 10 i'm not a fan of like the timed like the timed combat Turn based mm -hmm. combat was way, way more fun than 10, and they did a really good job with it. And mm -hmm. the story was fantastic. Mm hmm. So I don't. Well, I think 10, and 10 is just a solid, you know, Final Fantasy game. Yeah. From, from what I've heard, and again, I've, I've only played a bit of some of the later games. Um, yeah. But. 10 is supposed to be a good starting point for yeah. especially the 3D games. Yeah. Like, I liked... When 15 got announced, I did, like, the whole, like, I'm gonna drop $100 and get the Ultimate Edition, yada, 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 and I pre-ordered it, and then it got delayed, and then it came out, and there was a disappointment, and I was like, yeah, I wasted all my money on this. 
<laughs> um, like it just it it sometimes they drop the ball. Oh, did you see what they said about sixteen? I did not. They got pushed back by half a year. I mean, I'm not surprised. Like, it looks like a big game. Well, it's just because of COVID and everything, so. Yeah. Oh no, the Empire has come to the Esper world. Huh. Hmm. They sired a child! Yes, they did. <laughs> um, Madwin and um, the woman did have a child. You know who that child is? Do you? Do you? I I think her name comes from the Earth. You would be correct. Oh. Well. <laughs> yep, that is Terra, actually. <laughs> wow. The big <laughs> reveal. Yeah, I know, right? Be cool if you get your dad as a summon. Hmm. I think he is. I think Matwin is a summon in the game. What the fuck's his deal then? Um, I don't remember offhand. I don't use the summons a whole lot, to be completely honest. More situational than. Uh, let me see. Burn temporarily playable. He is the guardian of the lot. So he teaches Fira. Uh, he basically teaches you all the um, level two elemental spells. So Fira, oh. Zara, and the. Dara. Oh, it's Fira. Fira. I call it Fira. Fira. Yeah. And then um, Viar Viagra. Vi Viagra. Vi Viagra. Yeah. It really lights a flame underneath me in my bowels and my bosoms. <laughs> match set. The Mandarin is obtained automatically. Used Viagra. Upon completion of the match type. Match set. Um. Or Fireaga. Fire. Fireaga. Okay. Madwin's attacks, uh, attack when summoned is Chaos Wave. Um, deals non elemental magic damage to all opponents with a spell power of 55, and the attack is unblockable. Um,. Costs 44 MP to summon. Level up bonuses to increase the equipped character's magic power by one. Alright. Oh no. Yeah. Get your body sucked out. Woo! Yeah. Um... Go through that tree hole. <laughs> so the, the door. Burnt. The door, uh, closed. Not only is the Emperor a dick, he also is a kidnapper. Oh. What an asshole. <laughs> um, so the door to the Esper realm is being sealed, and all the humans sucked out with him as well as any espers who got too close. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, and that that is the story of Terra's uh backstory. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. And now whoa, whoa, she's whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> returned Dad? back to normal. Damn. Dan, the daughter of an Esper and a human? Filthy fucking half-breed. <laughs> Half-blood.
Did you? Uh, I I didn't watch it, but did you watch like the uh, the Harry Potter reunion or whatever? No. <laughs> More of the fact because I knew what it was gonna be. Yeah, I think they were trying really hard to avoid uh, discussing any of the J.K. Rowling um, controversies. No, I just knew that it was just going to be a fucking, like, a sit-down talk show thing, like they did with the Fresh Prince and what they did with Friends. So yeah. I'm just kind of like, yeah. okay, so this isn't what I... I don't... This <laughs> isn't what people thought. Everyone's like, they're going to come back and they're going to be older. And I was like, that's not what's happening here at all. They're going to have Parents' Day at Hogwarts. Yeah, it would have been really cool to see like an actual you know mm -hmm. something set within the universe yeah okay so now we need to head to we need to uh head back to narsh before we do really anything um you can, yeah <laughs> you can always uh tell where you're supposed to where your sort of next objective is by the little red square in the map. Alright, but um, we'll have to do that in the next part. So, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys next time.